so it's still Monday, April 30th, 2012, and it's a raceway in the Tehran roundabout, whatever the hell you want to call it, Death Race 2000 slash Insane Drive-a-thon go-kart land they got going on here. You're really good on the right. Yeah, well, you know, you got low visibility and black vehicles. It's also terrible over here what they're doing. What's that? Well, you'll see it when we drive through it. Okay. <clears throat> the other place I went is that one in the valley over by the high school. That's, that's closer to the bagel place. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just telling you what I like to do and why. Uh, you went to the same Yeah, I've been here, here a lot. Then. So they ripped out, like, all the street was screwed up to like one lane for a while, and then they put these stupid crosswalk pavers in. <laughs> so it was like terrible for two months. And it's still messed up. And then they put it, they're putting a median in down this street. But yeah, by doing that, they're taking out two feet of sidewalk on each side. Okay. So you can no longer really. Yeah. You know, if you're disabled or such, two people standing shoulder to shoulder, walking down the street is no longer possible. I wonder if they had a lot of accidents or something and they wanted to make the street harder. No, I'm sure there's plenty of idiots that were doing that stuff, and that was something that needed to happen just to kind of corral the flow of traffic, but yeah. at the expense of pedestrians ability to walk around is deceitful. The other day when I went to the, ma uh, to the mall, they had like this little walkway or whatever next to the, like, it was like on the sidewalk and then like it went off the sidewalk, not even like a cut curb or anything, red line, and it had like these those little uh, traffic whatever, little plastic things basically just to keep people, but you know, 40 of them just to have a little small walkway not wide enough for a wheelchair or someone even just walking with something in their hands. Huh. One would think there's some kind of rules or something that would deal with that. Wouldn't allow it. Not when it comes to private property. Oh, it was in the mall. On the mall property. Oh, oh, I okay. I didn't know it was people. In the mall. Doesn't matter. Still, you'd think that there'd be some kind of consistency of accessibility for people, but there's not. That's interesting because the all those malls and have to have a certain number of. Well, and they kept parking yeah, and, yeah. and ramps and yeah, but you know this was between one of the exits and entrances <clears throat> on the outside of the you know exterior or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Some more stupidly designed things.
I'm pretty sure people drove like idiots before the advent of cell phones, but <laughs> still. Uh, uh, I'm sure <coughs> percentage, but obviously not. Can you answer that? My friend Julia. Hello, Julia. This is Wild Bill, Rob's dad. How are you? Hi, he's uh, sitting here next to me driving and said I needed to answer it. <laughs> right, it's illegal. Well, it, it, it's so funny because we were sitting there and like 10 seconds before it went off, Rob said, I wonder if everybody drove like idiots before there were cell phones. <laughs> And I said, yeah, probably a lower percentage. Are you there? Oh, <laughs> you muted me. Rob is often trying to do that, but, uh, you know, I'm... Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you're sitting, you're sitting on the phone? Yeah, that's why I said you're sitting on the phone. That was a pun. That was a pun. Hold on. 